And a special thanks and shout out to Napleton Italian Imports of Carmel, Indiana for allowing me to come out and film this 2019 Maserati Levante Trofeo Launch Edition. Hey everyone, Josh here from Neighborhood Car Reviews and I'm at Napleton Italian Imports Maserati Alfa Romeo Fiat here in Indianapolis, Indiana. And today I am inside a rather special vehicle. This is the brand new 2019 Maserati Levante Trofeo. This is a one of 45 launch edition car. And today we are going to do an in-depth review of it. Unfortunately, I can't take it out for a test drive, but we'll do as best we can here. So join us in this in-depth review of the Maserati Levante Trofeo. Zero to 60 in less than four seconds. A top speed of just shy of 190 miles per hour. Almost 600 horsepower from a Ferrari V8. Launch control with Corsa mode and adaptive suspension. Near perfect 50-50 weight distribution and the less than 13 second quarter mile time. And it's an SUV. So when you're named for the easterly Mediterranean wind that comes from in from the west, sometimes gale force is necessary. And as a result, Maserati decided that the 345 horsepower and 424 horsepower twin turbo V6 engines just wouldn't do. And even with the GTS and its 550 horsepower V8 that wasn't quite up to snuff either, they created the Trofeo with special badging, exterior carbon fiber aerodynamic bodywork, and interior treatments just to name a few. The Trofeo is absolutely worthy of its name. And this is a limited production run with only 45 launch edition vehicles in the USA. This Trofeo is in the striking Nero Rebella or Rebel Black paint. It is a metallic paint and features the Nero full Piena Fiore natural leather, known for being the softest leather. In fact, this leather is sourced specifically for Maserati from bowls reared in the northern Europe at an insect-free altitude and for a blemish-free product. The leather is cracked crafted for six weeks before being delivered to the Mira Fiori production plant in Turin, Italy. As expected, the Levante is all-wheel drive with the rear bias Q4 intelligent all-wheel drive system. With full-time Maserati active transfer case, it can switch from 100% rear-wheel drive to 50-50 split in 150 milliseconds. And this Trofeo is equipped with Maserati's Skyhook adaptive dampening suspension with load leveling, integrated vehicle control, as well as adjustable ride height controls. Here's a demo of the ride height controls in a sped up clip. And the engine is the highlight of this vehicle and as a result is quite the sight to behold. Boasting the highest horsepower per liter rating of any Maserati at 155.26 horsepower per liter, it is a 90 degree 3.8 liter Ferrari F154 dual overhead cam 32 valve twin turbo V8. Ferrari designed the engine for Maserati with wet sump lubrication, cross-plane cranks, and two IHI twin scroll turbochargers as well as active air shutters. It creates 590 horsepower at 6,250 RPM, 538 pound-feet of torque at 2,500 RPM. It is good for 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds with a 0 to 100 mile per hour quarter time at 10.8 seconds. Quarter mile is reached at 12.4 seconds at 112 miles per hour with a top speed of 189 miles per hour. And this vehicle features a 21.1 US gallon fuel tank and it consumes 6.7 gallons per 100 miles driven. Estimated total range is 316 miles. EPA fuel economy figures are 14 miles per gallon city, 18 miles per gallon highway with 15 miles per gallon combined. And the transmission is a ZF sourced 8 speed 8HP 70 automatic. It does feature manual shift capabilities via the lever as well as the carbon fiber shift paddles on the steering column. 
It also features reconfigurable shift schedules with Sport and Corsa modes. When in Sport mode, the Levante drops 0.4 inches, and with Corsa mode dropping a full inch, as well as changing suspension damper rates, transmission shift schedules, steering rates, and feedback, as well as exhaust tuning for more open and aggressive performance. Taking a look around the rear of the Levante, it's pretty typical of the SUV uh, model line that Mazda already has. It does feature LED taillights with LED turn indicators and reverse lights. Up top is a hatch mounted spoiler and looking down below with a quad matte black exhaust, carbon fiber accents and a more aggressive bodywork, the Trofeo is subtle yet effective. Exterior badging at first glance does not give away the Trofeo name until you look at the C-pillar tridents and see the Trofeo wording within. Then you realize what exactly you're looking at. And as you can see down below, just a little bit more detail of the lower carbon fiber aerodynamic bodywork, as well as the quad exhaust. Overall, it looks really good, even in the rear. And moving along the profile of the vehicle, it is very aggressive with swept back styling, huge 22 inch wheels and carbon fiber lower sills, as well as black window trim, set the Trofeo apart, especially in the striking Nero Rebel paint. Steering is electrically assisted, dynamic vehicle speed sensitive variable rate rack and pinion. Wheels are the huge 22 inch Orion Moran painted aluminum wheels with staggered tire sizes. Tires are Continental Sport Contact 6 and measure 265-35ZR22 up front and 295-30ZR22 in the rear. Brakes are four wheel disc brakes, obviously with cross drilled rotors, front and rear. They feature enhanced braking cooling ducts as well as gloss red brake calipers. They can bring the Trofeo from 60 miles per hour to zero in 105.6 feet. They are assisted by ABS, ESP, pedestrian detection, four wheel collision warning, and hill hold assist with hill descent control. And taking a look around the front of the Trofeo, well, Avantes in general look sporty and aggressive enough, and this is no exception. Like the rear of the vehicle, it is subtle but very effective. Dark tinted LED headlamps and turn indicators with black bezels, black chrome finish in the huge gaping maw, with a large trident proudly displayed in the front and center, along with huge black mesh air intakes for cooling the intercooler and brakes, finished in carbon fiber. Complete the sporty look of the Levante. Overall, styling is great, with, to me at least, no awkward angles to speak of. And naturally, this vehicle does come with remote start as standard equipment, and operating is very simple just by double pressing the remote start button on the key fob. And because this is an FCA vehicle, Smart Key Access System is easy to use. By keeping the key fob in your purse or pocket, to lock the vehicle, simply locate the black button on the door handle. The horn will chirp and the vehicle will lock. To unlock, simply grab the handle as you would open it.
and taking a look inside, it is finely crafted with the finest leather, as stated before. Very supportive high back bucket seats. They are the sport buckets with diamond quilting stitching. The leather and carbon fiber continue along the door cards. You've also got a satin steel matte finish. Overall, the styling on the door cards is very nice. Of course, you have power mirrors that are power fold away. And the mirrors also feature the blind spot indicators, as well as LED turn repeaters. Of course, you also have power windows and power door locks. Two driver memory. You've also got the 17 speaker, 1280 watt Bowers and Wilkins sound system with Quantum Logic surround sound. Illuminated tread plates on all four doors. Eight-way power driver and passenger seat with four-way adjustable lumbar supports. Satin aluminum pedals. You've also got automatic headlamps and fog lamps with push-button start. You've also got a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Sadly, a lot of these controls obviously come from the Chrysler parts bin. And taking a closer look at the seats, they do have the Trofeo badging inscripted on the head restraints. These are the sport bucket seats with satin aluminum accents, as well as accent stitching. They are heated and ventilated units. Overall, they're very supportive and very comfortable. Alright, let's pan through the interior and show more details. As you can see, nice fluid, easy to use assist assisted power steering. It is a nice sporty thick rim three spoke steering wheel with perforated leather inserts. You've also got satin aluminum details and of course the trident front and center. Adaptive cruise controls on the left hand side. And on the right hand side you have the Bluetooth phone controls as well as your trip computer controls. Pretty aggressive instrumentation with a 230 mile per hour speedometer. LCD vehicle multifunction control display. It features a lot of various trip computer displays as well as vehicle function readouts. The display is typical of FCA vehicles. Alright, let's move over the top of the dashboard. As you can see, it is stitched in leather with accent stitching. The headliner and A-pillars are all wrapped in Alcantara. Overall, it's a very nice, well-built interior, although it's not as sporty as one would think from the Trofeo. You do have Maserati's iconic oval clocks front and center on the dashboard. And moving down below, you do have Maserati's touch control, 8.4 inch touchscreen display, which is typical of FCA vehicles. The graphics are crisp and clear. It is pretty typical of pretty much any Chrysler product that you can see. It does feature GPS navigation, AM, FM, Sirius, XM, satellite radio. You've also got controls for dual automatic climate control. And of course, GPS navigation. It does support Apple CarPlay as well as Google Android Auto. And placing the vehicle in reverse does activate the reverse cameras. It does feature a 360 degree top down view, HD graphics, active guidance lines, as well as adaptive controls for front cross path, rear cross path, and front views as well as rear views. And this is just a quick demonstration of the backup camera in operation as I back the vehicle back into the parking spot in the garage. Alright, moving down you have redundant controls for climate controls. As stated before, they are dual zone. And inside this little storage tray, you have a USB port, auxiliary input jack, and an SD card reader, as well as some flock storage. The whole center console is pretty much carbon fiber with some plastics and aluminum. Here you have your controls for your stability control, off-road mode, increase, increase control and efficiency mode, sport and Corsa mode, and your suspension settings. You have electronic parking brake, dual cup holders, the scroll wheel in the middle is for your touchscreen. You can actually use it without touching the display and your ride height control. Center armrest features shallow storage.
overhead you do have an automatic dimming rear view mirror it does integrate microphones for the Bluetooth controls. Overhead console features LED map lights as well as LED overhead lighting. You've also got a three channel home link universal garage door opener, controls for your park sensor rear parking sensors and your hatch control, as well as your dual pane panorama sunroof. This is just a demonstration of the glass opening up. It is a very dark tinted glass with a blue tint to it. Sun visors as well as the headliner I said before are wrapped in Alcantara. They do feature an LED reading light. And the sun visors do fold out as well as extend out on extension rods. And of course you do have the overhead assist handles. All right, let's take a look at the rear seat. Pillarless doors with blue tinted glass. It's a pretty nice look, I like it. Rear seats do seat three across. It is a 60-40 split folding seat with reclining seat backs. As you, you can see, the rear seat door cards match the fronts with accent stitching, carbon fiber, aluminum accents. Another nice feature is when the windows roll up, you can actually press the switch again and you have power roll up and roll down window shades that tuck nicely into the door card. He did seat controls as well as Bowers and Wilkins speakers. The rear seats are very, very nice. They're very comfortable, very supportive. They feature high adjustable head restraints with the Trofeo badging, matching accent stitching and perforations as well as uh, the diamond quilting. As stated before, the seats do recline. You do feature a fold down center armrest with integrated cup holders. You've also got a pass through LED overhead lighting. And on the rear console, you do have a area for charge ports with two USB charge ports, air vents. You've also got dual climate control in the rear for a four zone climate control. The graphics are crisp and clear and easy to read even in low light. You've also got seat back map pockets. And folding the seats is easy, just locating the lever at the base of the seat, lifting up, and the seat back will fall forward. However, it does not actually fall flat, so it does have kind of an angle to it. But it's nice to know that the seats do fold. All right, believe it or not, there are four ways to open the lift gate. You can press the button in the overhead console. There is a membrane switch just below the SER in the trunk lid. You can use the key fob by double pressing the button. Or my favorite way, you can use your foot to kick open the lift gate. 
and it actually works quite well. All right, now that the lift gate's open, as you can see, it is a very nice luggage area. To me, it seems very large. It's very well designed with uh, holdback straps. You've also got modular floor storage with movable um, tie-down hooks, underfloor storage. Overall trunk capacity is 20.5 cubic feet. You do have a privacy cover, two LEDs for lighting. You've also got a 12-volt power point, and to close the hatch, you just press the button in the trim panel. All right, and that does conclude our in-depth walk-around look at the brand new 2019 Maserati Levante Trofeo. We hope you liked this video, and if you would like to see more like this, comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash neighborhood car reviews. As always, thanks for watching.